Well, a good Wednesday morning to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. But over here in East Central Mississippi, I'm here to tell you, it's in the upper 50s, quite nice to be outside. Before I get started on today's video, I always like to mention that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I show sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is, let me show you how I made that. Give me a second. That's what we fit in the dues. So Dan had quite a few questions on the lids that I use for my cracky systems and how I, uh, I put them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I started out with and then what I ended up with. So let's do that. So this is the lid that I started out with, just a plain blue five gallon lid that I purchased from, uh, I wanna say the Home Depot. This is actually the same lid that I cut out and I painted it with flat black Krylon paint. In my last video, I had some, uh, I made mention that I had some problems with these lids. I don't know if you could see it, but you see all of the blue that is coming through. And watch this. Did you hear that? That is actually the paint flaking off under stress. See the cracks in the paint? And there's the Krylon on my hands. Dan, why did you paint, why did you use Krylon to paint the lids? What I wanted to do was I'm trying to keep all of the light out of the five gallon bucket as I can, especially the lid because it is exposed to light all of the time. So what I did was I actually purchased some black lids off of Amazon and there's that lid. I also had quite a few uh, comments or questions as to whether or not these lids that I purchased will actually fit on just a standard five gallon bucket. What I really like using is this bucket right here and I as you can see I got this from advanced auto parts it's just a five gallon bucket is all it is so it takes a little work to get these lids on but if you kneel on one side turn it around and just working on these lids seal really well to these five gallon buckets Dan do the lids work on just a five gallon bucket that you get from the Lowe's or the Home Depot yes they work on those as well that I have access to these bucket these black five gallon buckets from advanced uh, auto parts and it works good for me next question a comment was Dan what's going on with the holes that you drilled in the lids can you show us how you did it yeah too easy and the reason why it's too easy is because of the template that I got from the company that sent me the lids and there's a template sitting on top of a lid. Now what you're gonna need is, I think maybe one or two things. It just depends on how you wanna do it and what you have to do it with. What I have here is just a cordless drill and that is a 51 millimeter or two inch hole saw. And that's what I'm gonna use to drill the holes in this, uh, this lid. Only thing uh, with this is you have to figure out where you want to put the holes. Now myself, I want four holes in this lid being one, two, and three, and four. But you can see that it's not actually cut out that way. So what I did was I actually made some tick marks on mine. So that gives me one, two, three, and four. Now that we have our template in place and it looks good, I have another drill with a drill bit on it and all we're going to do is create some pilot holes. I'll tell you why I'm doing that here in a second. Oops, I moved it. That's okay. Okay, so we drilled out our pilot holes. We don't need the template anymore. It may be hard to see, but we actually have some small pilot holes. We're going to grab our our hole saw and we are gonna take the point of the bit we're gonna put it right over that pilot hole 
we're going to start off in a forward direction until the hole saw actually makes contact with the plastic and we're going to run it in reverse. So you're left with a hole that's nice and clean and the reason why we're running this bit in reverse is we don't want to rip this plastic if we can because then we'll be down a lid and we'll have to start all over again. So let's finish the rest of these holes. All right, and that's what we are left with. A lid that has four holes. You can see my template was off just a little bit from here and here, but that's okay, it's gonna work. You just have to line that template up as best you can, but that's okay, this is gonna work. The next thing I would do is I would take a knife and I'd just run it around these holes just to get rid of these burrs. If you have a utility knife, that would work too. The next thing to do is just make sure your two inch neck cup fits. And yes, it does. Well, there you have it. Just a little video just to answer some questions about the lids that I purchased and how I actually drill them out uh, to accept the two inch neck cups for the cracky system that I'm running over here uh, at the home in the sticks. Uh, really easy to do, even easier if you have a template or a guide to help you drill those holes, which I didn't do all that well, but it'll work. But that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. Again, I hope everybody is having a show enough good Wednesday, and I hope everybody's being safe amid this crisis that we still have going on. Sorry for the wind. If you like this video, go and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy. Y'all need to come on over here and give old dad a look, because I'm always doing stuff, like drilling holes. With that being said, you know it's coming down, reference show enough, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You sure enough get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.